Hi everybody, how are you going today? It is so good to see you and you and you and aren't we living in fun times? I have to say the 2020 that was looking pretty good actually for Matter and Photography uh, has done a backflip. But hey, I'm in a country that so far is in pretty good shape. There are lots of people doing it a lot harder all around the world than we are here. But still, relative to what we are used to and relative to what we were hoping for the year, the outlook we now have ahead of us, as stated by the government, is we could have a minimum of six months of disruption. This sounds scary, doesn't it? Along with, as I think, I'm not sure now what country in the world doesn't seem to be running out of toilet paper. It's one of the weirdest things I've ever seen in my life. What I hope to bring to the conversation, and I now have gone from feeling like just another YouTuber to going, this is an amazing opportunity for us to connect, for us to share, and for us to continue to inspire and invigorate and uh, understand each other's needs, fears, goals, anything we can do to get through this hard time. And not since perhaps World War II have we experienced something on this scale. So literally our generation, my generation, I'm, a, I'm an ex-gen and the baby boomers and anyone younger we've never experienced anything on this scale ever before. So it's confronting. But what's the silver lining? How do we make it better? How do we keep our community strong? The first most important statement I want to make is nothing to do with photography. It's nothing to do with what's going on in the world. It's got to do with our community. And I would like to ask, moving forward, can we please all be nice to each other? respectful of each other? Can we be glass half full? We've, we've got to work through this time together and there's way more fear out there than there should be. Uh, there is a lot of uncertainty and that's absolutely true. But it's an opportunity and I'm getting to the point that the opportunity is the world is actually a different place. Here in the city of Melbourne we are about kind of, I suppose, one to two weeks into the serious part of this. And there is maybe only 50% of people commuting to the city. And I suspect that number is going to dwindle every day. Whilst I'm still allowed by the government to be out, it's an opportunity to take photographs. And as you all know, I love shooting the city. This is an opportunity to get photographs that perhaps will never ever be seen again in a metropolis like this or perhaps the metropolis that you live in. Of course, please, don't go out if you're not allowed to. But if you are allowed to, this is a great opportunity. Things have changed very much. The roads are quieter. I've come in here on a Thursday afternoon and it was a little bit like coming in on a Sunday afternoon. It was easier. Parking was easier. Public transport is quieter. But this platform that we have, this platform called YouTube, I don't think of it as social media. I think it's far better and far more useful and far more powerful than that. This great platform we have means we can keep sharing and we can, the most important part, we can look after each other. So please, I ask you, can we keep looking after each other in this time? I'm gonna keep making content I actually think it's more important than it's ever been to make this content here on this platform. This is just, it's, it, it's an opportunity for our world, for one little part of our lives to stay normal. So I want you all to know I'm committed to keeping this part, this little part of our lives that we share together, I'm committed to keeping this part normal. If not, even perhaps creating even a little bit more content 
And I just, I, I, just to end this video, uh, I wanted to talk very quickly about the exhibition. As you saw at the end of the last video, we now have a restriction of gatherings uh, can't be over 100 people, so cancelled. And I suspect that'll change soon enough again. The other exciting thing about this period that we're in is it's a great time for lateral thinking. I haven't had time yet to put on my lateral thinking hat. There's a lot of ways to solve problems. For me, it is going to be business as usual on this channel. Obviously, we are in unprecedented times, but I want us to continue as best we can to be positive, to share, glass half full respect and come on we can love each other there is nothing wrong with that we strangely doesn't matter where we are doesn't matter what part what corner of the world we're from we're actually all human beings so come on let's put our very very best foot forward people i'm uh, i'm looking forward to everybody being as impressive as they can be okay let's all be impressive that should be our motto uh, if, if anyone's got any great ideas for uh, videos that could come out of this new world that we're living in today, I would love to hear any ideas. If anybody's got anything enthusiastic to say, I just, I just think this is an opportunity for lateral thinking. This is an opportunity for humanity to do a, a, little, bit of a, uh, a little bit of a pivot, as they say in basketball, and maybe, maybe we can get some new ideas and some new ways from new thinking because we've been engaged in the same thinking for a long time. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next couple of days with the next video. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, bye.